As you remember, uh, in, let's see, in the previous slide, we created a hash and assigned to it a, a list with key value pairs, f name foo, l name bar. We do the same here, except that we are using the qw, but that's the same. So if you're uh, already familiar with this, that's just exactly the same creating, except that now we are using uh, declaring the, the variable and assigning to it the value at the same time. But again, you're used to this already. Then we can we could do this also in with an intermediate uh, array. Uh, so we could assign this to an array that's just normal, an array with values, and then use that array to assign it to a hash. Obviously, this code itself is not that clever, not that interesting. But think about it that this basically this uh, instead of this array, array here, we could have a function call that would return an array or it, rather it return a list of values f name foo l name bar so that would create a, a hash so no matter how you assign a list of values to this a list of pairs of values basically it will also automatically turn it into a hash with key value pairs so this is basically the same just in two steps so this is how you can create from an array to a hash. What, happ what happens if you take a hash and assign it to an array? So if you print this array out now, it will be either this list or this list of values. So the difference is in that uh, the similarity is that in both cases, the key value pairs are together. So f name foo is together, f name foo, and name bar is together. What's different is that the order of the key value pairs and that's because within the hash we don't have any order so you have the key and the value and they are corresponding e to each other always but there is no order between the keys no matter how you assign it which order you assign it nothing so when you're fetching from the hash it will flatten out all the key value pairs but uh, which pair will be first and which will be second is basically random or at least for us it looks like not random so it can be either this or that so you can't rely on it but it's important to know that it, this hash can or any hash can flatten out into key value pairs and you can get back a list of values so that's one thing the other thing in this uh, slide is that uh, what happens if you is, is a slide issue that people sometimes fall in this this uh, problem so look at this code what does the, what this does is uh, takes uh, this string the number the phone number and assigns to as a, as assigns to this hash as the value of the phone key now if you assume that this is this was the original hash uh, with f name and l name only keys that this will add an additional phone key with this value or if there was already a phone key, then it would just change its value. As opposed to, opposed to this, there is some different code, but some people are mixing these uh, things a little bit. So in this code, we take a key value pair, phone and the corresponding value, and assign that to the hash. In the resulting hash, similar to this one, you will have a phone key and this value but the second assignment will remove all the keys and values from the original hash so in the second example the only key value pair will be the phone and this value while in this one you will have both all the originals and this uh, pair so just look out this is assigning one single value to one single key this is overriding the whole hash.